the fountains mingle with the river and the rivers with the ocean. The winds of heaven mix forever with a sweet emotion. On August 4, 1792, at Field Place, his ancestral home in Sussex, England, Percy Bysshe Shelley was born. He was the eldest with one brother and four sisters and was given the name after his grandfather. Although he was named Percy Bysshe Shelley, the family preferred to call him Bysshe. His parents were Timothy and Elizabeth Shelley. Percy was Timothy Shelley's second child of his third marriage, and Elizabeth's first. He was a romantic poet with political, atheistic, and gothic writings. He attended Eton College in 1804 and furthered his education at Oxford University. His first work was a gothic novel named Zastarosi in 1810. He was an atheist, someone who does not believe in God, and put his opinions and beliefs into his first Gothic writing. If you say that evil does not exist in the world, save that which man creates, and I say it exists as part of the duality of creation. You will never convince me of that. However, it was his pamphlet, The Necessity of Atheism, which expelled him from Oxford on March 25th, 1811. All religious nations are founded solely on authority. All the religions of the world forbid examination and do not want one to reason. Authority wants one to believe in God. This God is himself founded only on the authority of a few men who pretend to know him and to come in his name and announce him on earth. A God made by man undoubtedly has need of man to make himself known to man. Although Shelley was expelled and only 18 years old, he refused to denounce his beliefs. This caused a division between Shelley and his father, creating financial hardships for a few years. Soon after this, he fled to Scotland with his love, 16-year-old Harriet Westbrook, whom his father had forbidden him to see. She was a coffee house owner of inferior station to the aristocratic lineage. However, they married and had a child. Two years after his marriage, his first serious work was printed, entitled Queen Mab, a philosophical poem. Inspired by his philosopher, William Godwin, Shelley created this work. With his wife Harriet and her sister Eliza, Shelley got involved with the Godwinian Revolution in Dublin, Ireland. This is where he argued for the greater political rights for the Roman Catholics and Ireland as a whole. But financial difficulties arose, which forced him to move back to England. However, Piercy became uninterested in his wife and had began to see Godwin's daughter. I am united to another. You are no longer my wife. Perhaps I have done you injury but surely most innocently and unintentionally in having commenced any connection with you. Mary, most commonly known as Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein. She 
she was just 16 years old. Percy proposed that all three should live peacefully together. He was pioneering the concept of free love. Harriet, however, refused and went back to her parents with their child. This turn of events eventually led Harriet to leave her child with her sister Eliza and commit suicide by drowning herself in Hyde Park. My dear Bish, let me conjure you the remembrance of our days of happiness to grant my last wish. Do not take your innocent child from Eliza, who has been more than I have, who has watched over her with such unceasing care. Do not refuse me my last request. I could never refuse you. If you had never left me, I might have lived. But as it is, I freely forgive you, and may you enjoy that happiness which you have deprived me of. This in turn caused Eliza to sue Shelley and win. The courts required Shelley to set aside money that was sufficient for their maintenance. He was outraged, feeling persecuted and singled out in the wake of Napoleon's defeat. From Shelley's perspective, he wanted to liberate himself to love freely and openly. He was a romantic poet, not just of love, but also politics. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command Tell that its sculptor well those passions red which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sand stretch far away. Would you enter into a little experiment? prove my point. You will smoke and then take the precious object of your most tender affection. Mary the good and view her in that dimension of other sea. If she does not change then you are right. But if you glimpse the demon behind the mask On July 8, 1822, Shelley drowned in the Mediterranean. As his body was seen washed ashore in Via Reggio, Closer, Shelley. the Italian law dictated to give the body a cremation and bury it in Cimeterio Acatolico, or non-Catholic cemetery, in Rome. See how the form changes. On August 4, 1792, at Field Place, his ancestral home in Sussex, England, Percy Bysshe Shelley was born. Okay, that's On August 4, 1792, at Field Place, his ancestral home in Sussex, England, Percy Bysshe Shelley was born. Bish. He Bish. 
Like rhymes with dish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess. Fish is his name. Not like summit. Summit. Okay? Fish. However, Perry became uninterested in his Perry? wife. Perry? Oh, <laughs> shit. He was outraged, feeling persecuted and singled out in the wake of- <laughs> He was outraged, feeling persecuted and singled out in the wake of- <laughs> Wank? You need to stop thinking about wanking the okay? This is not- Okay, you know- Alright, never mind. He was outraged, feeling persecuted and singled out in the wake of Napoleon. On July 8, 1822, Shelley drowned in the Mediterranean. As his body was seen washed ashore in Via Gregio. <laughs> Reg Reggio? I don't know. Via Reggio. Via Reggio, that sounds good. Via Reggio. Nobody else is going to know how to pronounce it.